Hey -o. Um, to answer your question, the music is from Pictionary that plays during the uh, intro and outro. Um, yeah, it's like my favorite NES track, so I use it in all the uh, the streams. Um, hi, my name is James. This is my channel, Big Old Words. Um, I am going to be streaming Mega Man Three. We've already streamed Mega Man One and Two, so it makes sense to move on to Three. Um, yeah, sorry, I just woke up. My doesn't matter. Baby shit. Um, <laughs> what's going on, guys? Um, DFLJ, who is moderating, thank you as always, is here. Uh, good to see you. Matt Sweeney, Jeff Lindquist, who I uh, see almost every week. Always great to have you guys here. Uh, what other cool names we got here? Mega Harv. I bet you like some Mega Man. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jamie Tanner, one of the long last lost um, full house characters. Uh, Jelly Belly, Mr. Mega Man fan. Yeah, that guy definitely hates Mega Man. Eternal Optimus. I like it. Um, Elucidus. Donut Swad, which is actually Donuts with Dad, but I like saying Donut Swad. Chillerino. Yeah, you woke up from a nap. Naps are for cool guys. Uh, and Dominic Carvel. And anyone else I haven't said hi to already. Um, awesome. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, let me turn it on. actually had to bust out another Nintendo to make this work today and hopefully you can see slightly the difference um, I gotta say pretty good at Mega Man 2 and I owned Mega Man 4 as a kid but I actually think this is the hardest Mega Man and I think people will probably disagree with me on that but it's the one I have the hardest time with so um, yeah I have a feeling it's going to be pretty rough, but I'm going to try my best here. I, I have a general idea of like how to do it. I just I know I'm going to struggle a bit. Let me open this root beer. Uh, thank you for telling me to switch screens. I always always appreciate that. <laughs> um, Poptimus. Oh, that makes sense. The P is non-silent. Yeah. Never mind. I take it back. I don't like your name now. I'm just kidding. Um, Yes, I, um, I discovered, so first of all, I've been fucking with AV stuff nonstop trying to get, especially the stream looking better. That's the only thing I really have trouble with is just getting the, my signal from my N Nintendo look okay. 
So uh, I ordered like a, another thing to like upscale it and it still kind of looked like shit. And then I just ordered the very expensive Retro Tank 5X, which is what this is hooked up to right now. And it still looked like shit. And I was like, I don't understand. And what I learned is that um, basically the it was my Nintendo. The I'm using a much shittier Nintendo uh, that like uh, doesn't have like a newer pin in it. And uh, it doesn't crave that waviness that was going on. If you've seen my old streams with Nintendo, there's like a weird wavy line that's been going on. And I, I couldn't figure out why it was. And it was it was uh, the power supply, apparently. So I tried using other plugs and I ended up just switching Nintendos. And now it looks like a million times better. So, yeah, AV fucking sucks. I'm so bad at it. And every time I think I have something figured out, I either end up spending a million dollars and not solving anything, or uh, a new problem arises. I always forget how fast the slide is. It's so much faster than running. Whee! So yeah, I have been preparing a little bit for this. Um, I never owned this game growing up. And uh, I don't think I played it until kind of recently, maybe like the last 10 years. And now I'd say I'm okay at it. But there are definitely some sections, including this level, that I'm really going to struggle with. So, um, press down. Oh, man. If there's any tricks, I can guarantee you I don't know them and I won't be utilizing them. Maybe one. But uh, <laughs> when I streamed Mega Man 1, everybody kept trying to tell me about certain tricks that were going to help me and I it's like the hardest thing you can tell someone who's streaming a game is like how to do some like very nuanced trick even if it's really easy it's like I have no idea what you mean sorry I'm way too focused on other stuff god damn it so it begins All right. Whew. Uh, thanks, Phil J. Yeah, it, um, the only thing I couldn't figure out, maybe you guys know this, is like um, when I choose the aspect ratio, so like uh, in this case, it's 720 by 540. For some reason, the 1080 didn't really look that great. Um, the comes out like kind of squished. It's like a like this is kind of a square, but it's like almost like a rectangle. It looks like shit. <laughs> so I had to kind of stretch it a little bit, but maybe I just don't understand aspect ratios. <laughs> okay. much harder than I think every time I try and do that which is like like I said I'm no wizard at this game I will die plenty but I always think I have time to kind of like shoot him before his like magnetism runs out and I can never do it I feel like anytime I attempt it he ends up hitting me anyway
That was way better. See ya. <sighs> so I'm making just Mega Man <laughs> videos this month. Um, so I I had totally rad this week, and then um, I'll be talking about Power Blade two next week. And um, but then I realized the World Cup is about to start. Maybe I should um. There is like a specific. It's actually a few soccer games I'd like to talk about, but I don't know. I don't know if I can fit it in now. <laughs> I think I gotta just stick with my mega theme. Something I realized, I mean, something I've always known is that um, no one seems to really give a shit about sports, which is a real bummer for me because I actually really like the the sports games on the NES. But um, I definitely notice whenever I I do a video that's kind of sports related that it gets very little attention, which is like not the reason I do it. You know, I do videos because I think they're fun, but uh, the last one that I made uh, where I play all the sports games took me like months and months and months to make, so it was like a little hard to justify. What? I don't think I realize you direct it like that. I think I, re I thought um, for some reason that it just was like a homing missile. I don't think I realized that um, I was accidentally pressing up, and that's how I was hitting that guy. Hmm. That's a shame, too, because I'm going to need those magnets. So let's see if I can get it back. Probably not. Whee! See ya. Uh, so I've been thinking a lot about Mega Man 3, and I have a lot of thoughts. Uh, in general, god damn it. In general, I, I do find it much harder. And I may be alone there, but that's that's just how I feel about it. Um, I do like that it's much longer than 1 and 2. It has all these extra stages after you beat this, before you even get to the Wily Castle and everything. Um, the graphics are really great. The slide is actually really useful. It's something I talk about in Power Blade 2 is how it's not... It's like they wanted to emulate this game, but like the fucking slide is not useful in that game. And, um, and then what else? The music is pretty good. I don't find it as memorable as, um, as 2, but it is pretty good. I want to go up. Yeah, no, I don't. Okay. Mostly, I really love um, the Gemini theme. That one's my favorite. I really don't know how to fight him here without just getting hit a bunch, a bunch of times. I feel like in general, Proto Man is not that hard, but um, in that section, I never figure out how to attack him without just getting hit. Dumb. So dumb. Hmm. I may just wait. And see if I can kill him on the last one, because I don't think I have the last. Hmm. Yeah, so th this is what I mean. Like, I kind of fucked up by using the mega, the magnet. 
is you need you know it's obviously in Mega Man games you use them to kill other bosses but um, this guy is actually not easy and also uh, the magnet uses like a bunch of what uh, what's it called of ammo ammo for some reason I guess I had enough fuck it Talking about the intro from 2. Yeah, I probably should have played more of the intro music. And just hung out there for a second. Went right into it. No foreplay. Yeah, sorry. I fell asleep like right before this. I'm like in constant um, shitty sleep. My daughter is like climbing out of the crib and shit. Which I don't really want to talk too much about just kid stuff, but it's like, man, it's fucking me up because now she's like constantly waking up and I can only get her to go back to sleep if I pretty much fall asleep in there. So yeah, it's not not fun. How's everybody's week going? Mine has been, well, more of exactly what I just said, but <laughs> I did get the video looking a little better, so I had one major success. And I did actually finish a video this week, which has been very hard to do lately, so that was cool. I mentioned it a couple times to you guys, because I don't really... It's not like a, a mystery or something, but yeah, I'm working on a, a new clones video. So I've already made one about Zelda games and uh, the reason I'm playing so much Mega Man and then my review about Totally Rad and then Power Blade and then pretty much any Mega-esque game you'll see coming up, but um, is so that I can then make that, which is just all the games that are kind of similar to Mega Man, not specifically clones but um similar enough in gameplay and uh totally rad is most definitely that power blade is absolutely that and then a couple of games that i re actually don't really like that much are <laughs> also that so can't wait to play more of those specifically cryon conquest is one of my absolute least favorite nes games i despise that game and uh, I'm fucking awful at it, so I really hate having to get the footage for it because it's very frustrating and time consuming to get very little footage. <laughs> I don't know if anyone out there has played Cryon Conquest, it, it sucks. Um, and it is a very surface level Mega Man clone. It is not, it, it misses the point of many of the things that make this game so good like control variable difficulty i love these fleas this is like one of my funniest details and i love how much slowdown it creates like they this the system couldn't handle these tiny ass fleas <laughs> there's another part where it drops like big squares of trash or something i don't actually know what it is but it's kind of the same thing where you're like that caused all the slowdown but not really understanding how games are programmed i have to assume something about the sprite sizes it doesn't really matter if they're big or small but something about the way it's programmed causes everything to slow down uh, i'm gonna go on record and say this is one of the lamest bosses top man um that sucks. Who thought of that? And also, um, his attack is the worst. I, I didn't understand how didn't understand how it worked at first. So I couldn't figure out what was happening, why I couldn't hurt anybody, but it is the stupidest. Uh here's something I don't like about Mega Man 3. The select screen is really awkward. Like right now, I'm pressing every button to try and get to H A. But it's like you have to press in the right order otherwise it goes either left or right and then you can't it won't keep moving around it doesn't really make sense but like in the way that you should normally just be able to 
scroll between the items on that little start screen. You can't do it there. Uh, hard man's weapon sucks too. It is slow as shit. That's it. Fucking so lame. Yeah, I think it kills Shadow in the last guy. Um, any plans for Battle Olympus in the Zelda Clone series? Um, yeah, I'll do a Zelda 2 at some point. Um, DFLJ, sorry. I bet you kid. I, I figured that's why you're always getting up in the Middle East. Uh, Lil Samson, yeah. Uh, I like Lil Samson. I, I played on a stream not that long ago. Um, but it's, it's a little flawed. It has its... Um, I don't think, it's not, not flaws, it's just not, I don't think it's anywhere close to as good as this game. Are you saying I'm looking fly, or are you saying that the screen, I mean, obviously, I'm looking fly, right? Um, yeah, the, the screen is looking a lot better, hopefully. Hopefully you guys can really see the difference. Um, I still have, I basically bought an Ali, Alibaba kind of, um, knockoff retro tank that was like 80 bucks and then when i thought it wasn't really working i bought this one which was like 300 fucking dollars which is just stupid i was just getting so frustrated with the with the quality that i, I was like tired of trying to cheapskate by buying all these cords and stuff and not getting the results i wanted but 300 dollars is fucking stupid that's bullshit just for it to like look okay, it shouldn't be that complicated. Somebody out there is going to significantly underscore that market at some point. And sell one of these for 20 bucks or whatever. So anyway, I need to spend more time with my discount Chinese version and see if it's kind of comparable, at which point I probably am gonna return the retro tank because I, I just, I cannot justify that. I do not make enough money from my Patreon to justify $300 for this. But uh, I do really love streaming, and I do love that it looks better. Because, I mean, you know, I look back, and I don't really watch the whole streams or anything, but I look back just to see what I think the footage looks like, and um, I absolutely can tell. The main place I can tell is the Genesis. The Genesis looks like shit. And I figured out by reading a little more that the Genesis is kind of notorious for that. It's not just like my setup or something, but um, I did try it on the Chinese uh, retro tank. It's called, I'll, I'll show it in a second here. I can't remember, but uh, do I need anything? No. And um, oh, these are my least favorite enemies in the game, by the way. I don't know why they're so hard, but they are. Um, yeah, I tried a Genesis game, and it did look a lot better. But my NES just looked like shit, so that's why I ended up buying another one of these. But, um, yeah, that's awesome. Because I really love playing the Sega Genesis, but, like, looking back at the footage I had of, like, Aladdin, for instance, which is one of the best-looking Genesis games, it, it looked really bad. It should not look like that. The main thing I've learned about um, trying to upgrade AV stuff is, like, do not do any research online. <laughs> Everyone will tell you to do something or another. Even you guys, I think, will probably tell me to do one thing or another. And it's, like, some of it's, like, within my means to understand and some of it isn't. And I won't know it until I get it. And then I'm just frustrated when it doesn't work. All right, let's top this motherfucker. So you kind of, like, jump on him. Like that. I might run out of life though, let's see. <laughs> <That was> <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do, I sit on you, sit on you, right on your head. 
That's gotta be the stupidest fucking thing. Um, so, the OSSC fucking is not for the NES is what I learned the hard way. I, I got it as a gift from my aunt for Christmas. And I couldn't figure it out. And recently I was like, I'm gonna figure this thing out. And it turns out that, yeah, component does not work. And um, in order to get it in NES to work, you have to modify it. And I'm drawing the line there. I'm not, I'm not going for it. So, um, yeah, so I tried that. Um, your RGB SCAR Genesis on the... Yeah, I mean, I'll mess around with the Genesis this week and see. Because um, I do have some S cart options here. But um, I tried to use it on the OSSC and it didn't work, so. That's where I'm going. Actually, meant to get a snake, man. Well, how many lives do I have here? A lot. Um, I did not mean to do that. I wonder if I can beat this without the weapon. I don't know. That's a good question. Oh well. Yeah, this music rules. So in general, I don't like the threes music as much, but um, this this track is really hot. Uh, the end result of this whole AV discussion is, um, if it looks really good, I'm just gonna play all the Genesis games again. <laughs> I'm gonna play Streets of Rage and... no, nah, just kidding. Uh, but, uh, you will be seeing me play a lot more Sega Genesis, cause... Uh... Ah, oh, damn it. Can I get back up there? I had the Marine, but I don't have the Jet, so no. I'll probably get up here, though. Yeah. Probably not. Oh, well. Does anybody know? Because, yeah, I meant to use the snake weapon on this level, and I kind of fucked that up. I went the... Did not go the right way. Um, is there another weapon I can use that'll be um, somewhat effective on him? Wait, where'd that come from? I didn't think I'd kill anything. Um... Someone just say I love Tim and Eric. Yeah, <laughs> that is a definitely a Tim and Eric. Uh, the sit on you song. I feel like I played this the other day, and I got like a million extra lives here. It's the other thing I've I definitely noticed having played all of them very close together. Uh, two is kind of easy. I feel like it does give you maybe too many power-ups uh three i mean one doesn't give you shit but three really doesn't give you a lot either it uh it'll occasionally give you those little guys like that and it'll occasionally give you the little um weapon refills but it doesn't really give you those big ones except in very specific places like this and um and it hardly ever gives you full life or more life but I have noticed it gives you more extra men than I think Mega Man 2 does. Which is kind of cool. So I feel like it balances a little bit. I think I played 5 recently and 5 was like fucking chock full of extra men. Like every, I was getting like 1 every every couple seconds. I, I don't know if that was just luck or what. But it seemed like it was just happening constantly. Hard knuckle? Okay, maybe. I mean, I'll try a couple. I've got a few lives. And I've got some, uh, I've got an E-Tank, so. That's something I 
I'm pretty sure I'm okay without. It seems like in this game you get a lot of them. Um, like here, I, sh I, I bet I'm about to get a... I think I get at least one here, so... I feel like I can afford to, uh... To use a couple. I've probably played this level a million times, and and never realized. I don't think I ever used the marine <laughs> upgrade. I don't know why. Damn it, that was not good. I don't know why I never used it, and uh, it really makes. <laughs> This whole section, it's not, you really don't have to go that way, but I just never realized how much easier it makes it. Yeah, I don't know what the inspiration for this is, for Gemini Man's theme. This shit's hot. It's like, got a, maybe a little, like, Arabian kind of underbeat or something. I don't know. It's fucking so good. Oh, boy. Those things are, they are surprisingly difficult, is, is how I would describe them. I wonder if I can hit them with this. No. It doesn't go down, huh? Okay. Well, that's useless. Cool. Okay. All right, let's try the hard, probably the most annoying weapon. Let's see if I can hit him. <laughs> oh boy. No, that is not effective. Um. Yes, I'm pretty sure I'm not trying the to top. Do I have anything else? Shadow? Let's try shadow. I feel like this is effective against everybody. And it was. Cool. We are chugging along. Actually, was having a lot of trouble with this game, so... This is cool. We're already about... We're not halfway through. Halfway through the beginning stages, but... Um, yeah, actually doing a lot better than I thought I would. Um, everything sound and look okay? I probably should have asked that when I started, but... Hopefully it does. Alright, let's snake it up. Um, yeah, I am playing in some kind of, um, order that I don't know. I'm, it's not my order. I, I definitely looked it up, so I assume it's kind of the, the popular order. Um, and yeah, the shadow weapon seems to be kind of like the metal blade. Like, it doesn't use as much, um, I'm going to say magic power, but that's not what it is. But it doesn't use as much ammunition, basically. Um... So yeah, I mean, I should be using it more. I don't have anything. Uh, my Halloween was cool, man. Um, we took my daughter down to... There's like a park near my house uh, where like all the rich people live. And um, and it's, it's cool because uh, the local high school was there. They like brought out the marching band and stuff. And then uh, they had like a little rinky-dink kind of parade. It's like very, very neighborhood... But the cool thing that I liked is that um, you, you don't go door to door. Everyone's just sitting on their stoop. Um, so it's like um, much easier, especially my, my daughter isn't even two. So like much easier to take her and just have her like awkwardly walk up to someone. Oh man, I'm going to eat some of that candy. That's a great idea. Hold on.
So because she's two, I didn't give her any of the candy, so. <laughs> Tough shit, kid. Um, but yeah, so it made it really easy just to like pop in and out. Mr. Good Bar, indeed. Um, and for that age, that's like, that's really perfect. Like, you know, she's not really old enough to know what's going on. We dressed her up as, uh, Mirabelle from Encanto. And, uh, she was just happy walking around and having little kids be like, Mirabelle! You know, like, that was, she was, she was pumped. And just seeing all the stuff, it was like, just a big spectacle. So that was really fun. Uh, how about you guys? Anybody go trick-or-treating or dress up or anything? My wife and I went, we didn't dress up this year, I, I don't know why we are preoccupied, but um, last year we went to a party, it was kind of like a, alright, we had a baby, so we want to make sure we get invited to parties in the future, so we better go. <laughs> and so, we dressed up as, um, like, robbers, you know, like, classic, like, striped shirt and a mask and, you know, sack of money, it was, like, very simple, it, it met our requirements for, like, what we were willing to do at the time. And um, it's funny now because I use that shirt uh, to play soccer. It's like my my keeper jersey is just this striped shirt. So the guys on my team joke that I'm it's my hamburger outfit. <laughs> I only wear kind of stupid shirts when I play uh, soccer, and I feel like it intimidates people because they must assume I'm really good if I'm willing to just wear like a candy corn shirt to play soccer in. Yeah, the unfortunate thing about streaming is I can't share this candy with you guys because um, I have a shitload of it, and I'm not like, not like a ma monster sweets guy or something. Um, you know, I'm drinking a root beer as I say that, but um, it's gonna take me forever to eat this. It's mostly in the house just to keep it away from, keep it away from uh, my daughter. Mostly in my tiny house. If you guys don't know, I'm actually... I film everything out in... Uh, this is like a really small studio that I built in the back. Um, it's about 200 square feet. And um, I got all the games out here. There's a little bathroom and like a kitchenette. And uh, my desk where I do all the editing and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Everybody else is in the house. My wife may be awake. She is often awake later on Thursdays. And she'll watch... Oh, that was really bad. She'll watch some of the stream. And you may see her pop in. I don't know if she's watching now. Um, oh, shit. Blessing... Uh, sorry, I couldn't read your name. Yes, this is on my... This isn't actually my original NES. This is my other NES. And um, it's because I was having some AV issues with the other one. It was creating kind of a weird effect. So, yeah, this is the original NES. Um, but I'm using some kind of upscaler now. So, it, it does look... A lot better than it has the last few weeks. If you haven't seen me streaming, it looks a lot better. Um, at least from my perspective. I assume it looks better on the screen, too. I had my friend stay a few weeks ago. Um, he's in town for a wedding. And I don't know... If you guys wear cologne, I'm here to tell you, you probably don't need to wear it. Like, different strokes. If you're into it, wear it. But, like, um, it's something that I thought was, like, fun when I was in college. And then pretty much every woman I dated after that was like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, it's gross. And so I just, you know, stopped wearing it. But um, the, uh, what do I use of this guy? I'm going to use the shadow just for kicks. But, yeah, my friend, for some reason, started wearing really strong cologne. <clears throat> and I definitely kind of bust his balls a little bit about it. But, like, holy shit, man, my fucking studio smelled like rank-ass cologne for weeks. I just now kind of got the smell out. Wow. Hmm, I'm not doing so well. I think I could beat him without using a 
And oh uh, fuck, I should have used it. That was stupid. <sighs> that was dumb. I don't have the needle cannon. No, I do not. I guess I could go get it first, but I'm not going to. Um, uh, take a pause here and just check in. Yes, the Hamburglar is cool. Um, call me Ronald Man Cave. Um, yeah, I hate that term, but yeah, that's what it is. I can't, I can't lie. I definitely designed it as a, um, as like a shared, like a suite. So if people came to stay, they could stay here and, and they have, but, um, over time, especially like I built it before I started making videos. So over time, it absolutely has become like just games and studio. I mean, it it probably looks more like a studio now than it does like a, a game room because there's just fucking lights and equipment everywhere. Because um, the more I do this, the more stuff I keep accumulating. But uh, yeah, it has like, like I said, it has a, a bathroom, uh, which is the biggest feature it has ac and, and heat and then uh it doesn't really have a kitchen but it has like a little sink area so there's like a toaster oven and stuff like that and then what i'm sitting on now is is a futon like a fold-out futon it's actually quite uncomfortable it's something i kind of told myself i would never get but i, I couldn't figure out a, a real way to make this it's not big enough to have a bed and a couch and uh i didn't want to be sitting perpetually on a bed so i got a kind of uncomfortable futon that Sort of works. I'd prefer to just have a regular couch. Um, yeah, what else? You guys are just shooting the shit. I've noticed the longer I stream, the more I think I'm like uh, in engaged in the conversation. So I, I check in to see what's going on, and I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so like know that if you're asking me questions uh, i'm not trying to ignore you guys I, I am trying to check in but then also whenever i feel like i'm checking in often i look and you guys are having a, a totally unrelated conversation to to anything i was saying um which is awesome so then it's like i kind of look and i'm like what what's going on oh well <laughs> i assume you guys are moved on to something else Yeah, I should have used. An, what I was saying is, I should have used an E tank here. I um, I, I didn't look at how many lives I had left, which is really foolish on my part. So, uh, I would have just used an E tank because you can. I think you can always go back and get more if you really need to, or just die. And, like you can, I'm pretty sure. And two, when you get a game over, you lose whatever you had. But I'm pretty sure in in this game you keep them. So kind of worth it just to not have to play some of these levels over again. But honestly, the one I thought I was really going to struggle with was uh, the first one, Magnet Man, and uh, I didn't beat it the first try, so that's, that's already a huge accomplishment. Um, shit. Thank you. Uh, streaming analytics with the, uh, with the donation. Thank you. Um, I'm addicted to this channel lately. I use an EverDrive with my Nintendo from the 80s and my current mission is to beat Dragon Power. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, if you've ever watched my Dragon Power review, I cheated most heavily to make that video. I figured out better ways to cheat now that I think are not as obvious but uh, I cheated very heavily to just get whatever footage I can or I could for that because that game is so fucking hard. Um, if you never played Dragon Power, that's the one that's it's a Dragon Ball Z game that um, tells you a lot about the time that they didn't call it Dragon Ball Z because they didn't think anyone would know what that was. But um, it's kind of like a, you kind of run around and oh, I hate that jump and you fight people and stuff and whatever. But like it's timed. And it's one of those games where, like, your your life and the time is connected, sort of like Gauntlet. So as you get hit, you lose time. Does that make sense? And But then also the time is ticking down as you move. It sucks. And it's so... You really have to know exactly what you're doing at all times. So good luck to you, man. <laughs> 
or or woman um or uh non non-binary whatever but thank you so much for the donation it's awesome dude uh and i'm glad you like the channel um i have debated everdrives a ton not with the nes obviously because i have all the games so that's not as big of a concern but um certain systems like maybe the turbo graphics where um i just don't have it in me to really uh collect for that system um uh, i would consider getting an everdrive maybe the n64 because i also don't really care about that system um and the Games that are left for me are kind of more pricey, so I, I probably would be okay with that. Um, the thing that I've kind of realized about those all-in-one sort of things is I really struggle to enjoy them, if that makes sense. And it's I kind of talked about this a little bit before, but it's it's like the having so many options makes it um, almost like I don't want to play any. Like I'll play one game for like five minutes get bored not bored it's just because there's so many options it's like i have to place all of them <laughs> i'm not doing super well here um uh, yeah hmm i think i'm just gonna die Uh, from all accounts, the Mega Buster's just as effective here, and maybe I'll just do that, because the sh Shadow Weapon is good, but it, it can be a little hard to yield here. And then if I take any damage, I'm going to use the E-Thanks. Let's see if I can beat him. Oh, I pressed start, you son of a bitch. That sucked. I pressed start, and I don't know if I just didn't press it hard enough or I didn't have enough time, but it did not work. I'm not playing this level again. I mean, I will, obviously, but I don't want to. Um, what the fuck? What the fuck? Alright, so that time I was like, alright, I don't have enough time. God damn it. Alright, fuck me, that's so irritating. Alright, we're gonna have to come back. That's gonna drive me crazy. It was like, um... It was like there was a delay? But I was pressing it over and over, and I don't know what it was... Something about maybe having the snakes on screen. It wouldn't let me go to the start screen. That's so fucking irritating. Um, yeah, okay. You're agreeing about the PC engine. Yeah. Uh, I kind of looked into it because there were games that I wanted to play, like Newtopia and stuff, and I, I realized how expensive it was becoming. I just couldn't fuck with it. Um... The physical collection does give many options. Yeah, I just find that I examine them slower than I do when I'm just reading a list. Uh, because if I want to play something, I actually have to, you know, get up there and get them. Clean them off. Like, it's it's more of a thing. So, like, I don't just casually pop in anything for a little bit. If I'm going to play it, I, I play it until I feel like I'm, I'm done. If that makes sense. But, yeah, I, I get the sentiment for sure. It sounds kind of hypocritical of me to say, like, uh, you don't need an EverDrive, but it's like I have every game. <laughs> so, what the fuck am I talking about? But, yeah, that's just that's just been my experience whenever I try it. I have, like, a couple of those 500 games in one things. Um, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Newtopia. Yeah, um, I do want to play Newtopia. And I could play it in other ways. I've so funny as in college you couldn't have convinced me I had to buy any games but uh, like I just would steal anything I could uh, but now it's like 
Uh, I think I have so many games now that I don't really want to emulate unless I have to. Um, I like want the original game. I think it's the only way I really spend any time with um, with the systems is if I actually buy the game and spend the time. I talked about it recently, but like a, a fine example is I bought um, Ogre Battle for the Super Nintendo. And um, if you've never played it, it's kind of a cool game. It's like a simulation game. Um, and um, it's really f simulation RPG. It's really fun. The problem is that um, it's kind of too much for the Super Nintendo to handle. And by the time you kind of get to like the fourth or fifth level, it really slows down. But the thing is, I think if I was playing it on emulator, I would have played it for like maybe a a couple minutes maybe an hour and then like okay i kind of get it but instead i played it for like a week trying to get as far as i could and i kind of re reached a point where i was like this is just taking way too long to get through one level it's taking me like several days um go 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 motherfucker yeah that's that shit um but I think if I hadn't bought it, which was very expensive, so I'm not saying that really justifies the price, but if I hadn't bought it, I feel like I would not have given it enough time to really say whether I liked it or didn't like it. Really? It's your favorite game? That's awesome. I, I like, in theory, really like it. And I know there's one for the N64 that I'd like to play. And maybe that one kind of improves on... Wee! Uh, maybe that kind of improves on the on the issues. I will always say play games however you however you can. I think there's on both sides kind of some snobbery about whether you have to have the physical or whether it's cooler to have um, an EverDrive or just to emulate however you want to. But it doesn't matter. Just play it. And uh, the games are more interesting than the objects like. I like talking about both, but like, you know, the point is um, just to play them however you can. So I guess we're going to do Snake last for the third time. But we'll do it with the needle weapon. That'll make this a little bit easier. I'm trying to think of what the other game I'm going to talk about is. Um, hmm. Mega Man clone. It's not Journey to Silius. Um, I can't remember now. Oh, Wampum. That's it, yeah. Wampum. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think I'm just laughing at the title Wampum, but um, how kind of silly racist it is. But um, yeah, that game is, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's not as bad as um, Cry and Conquest. Not as good as Totally Rad or Power Blade. It's right there in the middle. Better than Power Blade 2. Which I streamed on here, and I do not like that game. Hmm. I feel like the trick with the Mega Man games is you're always trying to get. Um, I wonder if there's something I can use here. What about this? <laughs> Why did I pick the slowest weapon to try and kill that dude with? Uh, you're always trying to get to the checkpoint, essentially. Um, when, you, when you're when you low on life, you just gotta hope that you can get just far enough that you'll at least restart in a place where you don't have to backtrack too much.
What am I? Oh, uh, Elucidius? Is that what you're saying I'm mispronouncing? Sorry. <laughs> Certainly not Wampum. <laughs> if it's Ninja Gaiden or Gaiden, then I'm absolutely pronouncing it wrong. Oh, that was... <laughs> someone mentioned it, I think, in, in a comment. I get a little confused on comments sometimes, but um, my last stream was about just spooky NES games, and um, I, I did two of them. So the first one was just called a, like a stack of spooky NES games. And then the second one was called uh, a, a even spookier stack of NES games. And I definitely meant to say an even spookier stack of NES games. But I didn't because I just didn't. And, um, and someone commented the funniest comment I've ever read, which is basically what a piece of shit I was for, not, for saying A instead of an. And that, how dare I? Wait, what's going on here? Oh, I'm using the wrong weapon. Yep. Okay. Um, and yes, you're absolutely right. And let me check how many lives I have. Okay. If I get low, I promise I'll use it. Although I said that last time and somehow I didn't have enough time. But yeah, if, if you find my last stream, which I have a whole like past stream section, you can find this guy's comment. It really makes me laugh that, like, I mean, I have fucking majored in English, so it's not like I don't understand. What the? But, uh, that he was so offended that he, he took the time to comment on a fucking YouTube stream. <laughs> like, how important is that? It's not a news article. What am I? Why are you so hard to hit, my friend? Why are you making me use all these E-Tanks? I was not expecting this to be this difficult. It's like he really times his jumps perfectly so that... I often hit him on the rebound more than I hit him directly. Anyway. Yeah, right? How dare I use incorrect grammar? And that's the thing is that um, I love... I'm very particular about language. Even I'm going to fuck it up because I'm commenting or writing something a million times a day now. But, like, I am particular about grammar. And um, <laughs> But since he made such a big deal out of it, I, I had to leave the title up. Now I'll never change it. It's always going to be a even spookier stack of NES games. Cause once you put it out there like that, man, you get you get it. It's yours now. And then God, man, I guess I just missed I think it's stream comments for some reason I don't see. Not what you guys are saying, but um comments after the fact, because you can comment on stream after it's ended. And uh somebody else who I feel like has commented on other videos basically called me a loser for saying for me saying Ghostbusters 2 sucked. <laughs> that I was such a bad gamer that um that, yeah, it was my fault that Ghostbusters 2, that I thought it sucked. And it's like, I mean, you may be right. If I played a little more, I could probably be a little better at it. But, um, I mean, of all the hills to die on, Ghostbusters 2 for the NES is not one. <laughs> it fucking sucks. Even if you loved it to death, that game is terrible. It is awful. So, yeah, some funny comments of the week. I don't... I don't ever respond to these. I mean, I actually did respond to the grammar one because it was so funny, but I didn't say anything negative because whatever, man. You can say whatever you want. But know that if I don't like your comment, I probably just don't say anything because I try and respond to everybody I can uh, unless I can't think of anything. If, um, if you said something like, great video, I, I probably won't respond and just say, like, thanks to every, every one of those just because, I don't know, it just feels not disingenuous, but... Maybe you, you got it. Like, thank you. I appreciate it. If you ever say something like that, I do appreciate it. It's not that, but I try and respond if people say something specific about a video, like a fact or, you know, tell me about something from their childhood. Just realized I was playing this level again. I feel like I've been um, talking and I didn't even realize it. Like I've, kind of zinned out there for a second. 
<laughs> Too busy thinking about hateful comments to remember I was playing Snake Man's level again. Come on, E tank. Mm, that's not an E tank. I would call those the most annoying enemies in the game. They, um, they're not particularly hard, but they just take time. The worst is still those, like, I don't even know what you call them, horseshoe crabs that attack you. Um, yeah, I always like to check in where, where everybody's at. I am, as always, here in the deep south in Atlanta, Georgia. And I asked that question because I said horseshoe crab and it immediately made me think of um, the people who watch the stream and are from Maryland. That's the only place I've ever seen a horseshoe crab. Um, and hi to anyone I haven't said hi to. We are playing some Mega Man 3 tonight. We've already played in past streams Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 1. If you go to my page, there's a, uh, a playlist for past streams. I don't keep them. I keep them unlisted just because I feel like they kind of clutter up my page when I look at it. I don't think anyone else gives a shit, but... Um, they are all there, so if you want to watch any past streams, go for it. You can watch all the other Mega Men's. Dumb. So fucking dumb. Oh, god damn it. It never ends. I'm never gonna be done playing this stupid fucking snake level. God damn it. Ugh. Oh. Need some more candy. Uh, as a Georgian did, I watched WCW. Yes. Um, I didn't really know it like the NWA, where it's like more of like a regional thing. Um, all my friends and I watched WWF, so. I remember there was like one kid who was like, No, Sting could beat Hulk Hogan's ass. And we were like, I don't know. That, that seems unlikely. <laughs> but later... Sorry, I thought eating candy would be a really cool thing to do, but it turns out it's actually quite rude. Um, yeah, later I did watch WCW, the, like, in high school. I actually got way into wrestling for some reason uh, for, like, a few years, and uh, I watched more WCW. I think because it was kind of crappier, um, like, post-NWO, post-Goldberg, even, uh, I kind of felt like it was cooler somehow than WWF even though it objectively was not it was actually kind of bad but um wrestling in general is kind of bad so it's never really it doesn't really matter but I just felt like it was more of an underdog thing even though it was still just a super rich corporation funding it I have the WCW game for the NES, and I don't think I've ever played it. Um, I didn't play the wrestling games until pretty recently. Um, the WWF ones, because I, I was talking about one of them in a video, uh, King of the Ring. But, um, yeah, it's funny how I, I always feel like I've played everything, and then I think about a game like WCW Wrestling, and it's like, man, I don't know if I ever played that game. <laughs> that makes sense, but... Think about how many terrible platformers I've played, but so many kind of random sports games I haven't touched. Uh, the other soccer game I want to talk about is Tecmo Cup. Have you guys ever played that? Uh, if you've never played it, look it up. It's one of the weirdest games out there. And... Um, it is a soccer game, but it's really it's like an it's an RPG. You um you kind of run down the field, and then uh, when you encounter somebody else, like another player, you go into like a one v one thing where your stats match against theirs. And if you choose like run, you know if they have better 
defensive stats, then they're going to take the ball from you. It's really interesting. It sucks ass. It's not fun to play, but it's uh, it's kind of an interesting idea. I mean, it like literally, I've, I've, you're playing a, a bad RPG in the form of a soccer game. Um, but if I don't get to that before the World Cup, which, yeah, that would have been smart timing for me at least, because that's all I'm going to be doing for the next month anyway, is watching the World Cup, but, um, yeah, well, but yeah, that's a game I'd like to talk about at some point. Uh, I'm actually wearing a World Cup shirt. This is the, I don't know if you can see, it's, my wife got it for me. It's like a USA shirt, which is why it looks like it's, it looks like it's from 1990. Um. But yeah, I'm super pumped. It is my favorite thing that ever happens. Uh, even the last one that the U.S. did not make. Uh, I watched every game I could. Uh, the year before that, or the um, cup before that, I watched every single game. Uh, back when I had a bar, I had I, I made it a point that I was going to not just watch every game, but have the bar open for every game. And um, turns out people were not as gung-ho as I was, at least not in Atlanta. So no one came to watch those games until the U.S. came. And then, uh, like, hundreds of people would come. I was like, damn it, now I can't hang out and watch this game anymore. <laughs> Gotta work. But yeah, I'm pumped. I am beyond pumped. Even if the U.S. is terrible, which I fully expect them to be, I'm pretty pumped. Uh, Blades of Steel definitely rules. Uh, Konami Hy Hyper Soccer was the other game I was going to talk about, which if you haven't played, it was only on the PALS uh, NES, but it was also made by um, Konami, and so it's kind of like a weird um, Blades of Steel, but with soccer. Not this time. <sighs> really not doing that well, though. I've only got half his life. Yeah, I don't know. Do I just struggle with... Oh, the needle. God damn it. That was the whole point of doing this. Stupid. The whole point of coming back to this later was so I did not have to fight this guy. Legitimately. I can mega fight him. Jesus, that's so much easier. Look who it is, if it isn't the man of the hour, NES addict, the fellow James. What's up, player? I got, I need some explanations from you, man. What's going on? Um, and again, hi to everyone. Um, yeah, soccer's not big in the U.S. It's, it's bigger in Atlanta now. We have a MLS team, so people are more excited. That's... This is Atlanta United behind me, but um, it uh, it's not as big for sure in the rest of the country. What am I doing? Okay. Um, I mean, it's no, that's not true. In, in other parts of the country, it is a little bigger. Oh yeah, uh, I am lucky. I have you guys there. Thank you. Um, this is maybe where I'm going to start to struggle, even though I've already kind of struggled a little bit with Snake there, but kind of going on, um, on memory from the other levels, because I was kind of recording footage of this game not that long ago, but beyond this, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch. I kind of know what to do, but I haven't really played it uh, in a long time, so I have a feeling there's going to be... Some uh, some fuck ups here. Maybe they'll be funny, and then it'll be a win win for everybody. Yeah, this Gemini Man track is so hot. I'm just gonna every time I hear it, I'm gonna talk about how awesome it is. <laughs> uh, no.
Oops, why did I do that? I didn't even need that. Uh, NES addict, if you didn't respond, I'm just assuming it's all the TikTok money that you're making. That's why you're retiring. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I understand that. Um, I've been doing this for two years, and... Um, Right now is about the most burnout I've felt, which is really more just because of life stuff than it is, oh boy, anything specific to the channel. But, um, yeah, if I, how do I say this? If I think if I was doing the, the stuff like this for nine years and I, and I felt like maybe it wasn't like, what's the word? Not supporting me, but like, kind of excusing itself I don't know because this is a hobby for sure I love doing this and I'm sure you do too Jay but it's like it's a hobby but it's also like um it's as much work as I would put into a, a part-time job it's often like it's often 20 to 30 hours a week sometimes more depending on what I'm working on and how dedicated I am to it so it's um oh boy and I'm getting jacked up. Hold on. That's all right. Um, so it's like kind of hard. To, God damn it. Uh, that's not cool. I would have tried a little harder there. Um, yeah. So I think oh, if over time I felt like I was kind of in the same place, but still spending 20 to 30 hours or more a week. It, I could just feel the that it would wear me down. And I'm not saying that's necessarily what was going on with you, but like I could definitely respect that uh, after that time, that even if you still love it, it can if it's wearing you down, it's probably the best call <laughs> to uh, to at least take a break. But it sounds like you've you've made your mind up. If you guys haven't seen any aesthetics um, page, he, he has a great uh, YouTube channel. Um, and uh, I, I met him uh, in Greenville recently, and super nice guy. Like, I figured, because you can kind of tell by the way he um, carries himself on the channel, but um, super nice guy. So, uh, I'm bum bummed to hear that, man. Any idea how I get up? Doesn't really matter. Yeah, go sub him now, just in time. <laughs> um, talking about kids. Ah, see you in retro. What's up, man? Um, yeah, you're saying kind of a similar feeling to, uh, to Jay. Because, yeah, you've been doing it as long as he has. Um, yeah, it's tough. I really enjoy it, but um, like I said, I think I could see if after a, at least a, a couple of years, I didn't feel like I was maybe getting some kind of like um, sustainability out of it that um, I don't think I could justify the time. It's just, it's a little too time consuming. And I, I absolutely put many other things to the side to do it, um, including just like spending time with my wife. I spend plenty of time with my daughter, but really when it gets nighttime, it's like, you know, she's tired and I gotta, I got YouTube videos to make. Sweet. First video I see after. <laughs> oh, you're talking about uh, Jay, yeah. Not me. <laughs> My wife has joined once, but uh, or twice, but uh, it's been a minute. I don't think she really likes, and I, I feel like uh, probably Jay has the same experience, but uh, I don't think my wife really likes being on camera. Uh, she she likes it, but I don't know. I think it's it's been a mixed response. 
And then she's not super into games. So um, she has some games that she has, you know, nostalgia for, but uh, overall it's not really her thing. So while she's very, very, very supportive of me, it's a... Uh, I don't think it's just something she really feels connected to in a way that she wants to like really hang out and play um, play games. She wants to just hang out with me and um, and help me with like uh, comments and stuff. She doesn't really want to just be my second player for a co-op game or something. Although I, I think I. I think she is going to come and play some co-op games with me at some point here. Oh, God. So close. Yeah, so far. I feel like if they all went the way I wanted to. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna wait here for a second. Nope. <laughs> Shit. Come on. Why don't you give me some life? This might actually be a better spot. This is boring. I feel like when I stream, I like kind of half talk about real life and half talk about the games themselves. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I feel like I just tend to get in front of a camera and then just talk about whatever the fuck is on my mind. So, um, yeah. What am I doing? I wrote down everything I need over here, so let's see. And right now, that's just like baby all the time. That's like odd think about and talk about it, and I think that's just kind of the natural state of having kids. It's like, what the hell else do you talk about? Beat Mega Man 1 without a turbo controller. Nice. Slow motion. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, Alex Idell says he's late again. No, you're not. You're right on time. Perfect timing, I'd say. Um, where am I going? Shut up. So, like, I love this. This is a great decision. Because all of the Mega Man games have, like, a, a second part, you know, where you you go through, like, a boss gauntlet and you have to fight everybody. And this still has uh, the Mega Man 3 bosses where you fight them. But, uh... You also fight different versions of the Mega Man 2 bosses, and that's so awesome. Um, I get why people say that they prefer uh, 3 to 2, because it, it does have a lot more to offer. Um, it's a much longer game, and there, there's just like a little bit more going on. Um, oh boy. Oh god. <laughs> I have a feeling this is not gonna go well. Uh oh. I can use the jet here, can I? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um Hell yeah. Chris Ray uh, says he got five subscribers this month and about 650 views on three videos. That's awesome, dude. Um, I'm going to say that the most proud I was of, of my channel was the very beginning. Like, getting to... There's like certain markers that you can get right at the beginning, and I think it's... Maybe it's 100 subscribers lets you choose your own URL and like... Um, I don't know, there's a few others that like let you do different things. The community tab and eventually advertising and stuff, but like 
Um, those first few where like, you know, I, I would get like a hundred views was like probably the most excited I, I, I've been. Where like, I was starting to get kind of just strangers commenting, you know, not my friends and family. Um, so yeah, be proud of those five subscribers and anyone on here who has not subscribed to Chris Ray, check out his channel. If it sucks, don't subscribe. And if it's good, give him the support because he's here. So he's, he's part of our crew at least. <sighs> okay. What's up with that jump? How do I keep missing that? Um, I keep saying I'm going to use the jet and I don't. So let me try the jet on that part next time. But yeah, there's so it's the whole YouTube thing is very strange. I haven't felt this way about any social media until I started using YouTube. But um, I I finally kind of understand the like, um, what do they call it? Like the endorphin or whatever from like people liking or commenting or subscribing or whatever. Like the feeling you get when you see new stuff happening, when like a video uh, gets a lot of views. Like I get it uh, now in a way I definitely did not um, three years ago. It's a very, very strange feeling, but um, I don't know. In the end, I just hope people like like what I'm doing, but even if you guys didn't, I would still do it. It, um, it doesn't really have anything to do with anybody but me, just kind of what I like and want to talk about. Streaming's different though. It's This is really more if no one was watching this, I wouldn't do it. Um, I only do it because you guys watch it. And um, and so I do definitely take more into consideration what you guys think and, and want to see and stuff like that, even though <laughs> I don't know if I always listen. But I do, I do take it into consideration. Because uh, it's much more of a communal experience to do something like this than it is just to make a video and put it out there. Using the jet is cheating. Yeah, then that's the first time I cheated. Uh, am I going to play Mega Man 4 next week? Possibly. Um, that's the only game I has a kid, so I'm excited. Um, and uh, LML also said, uh, what's your favorite Mega Man game? It's probably 2. Uh, I do love 2. Um, yes. The answer is probably yes. Uh, I'm going to play 4, 5, and 6 this month for sure. I don't know... Because there's more weeks than there are. And one of them is Thanksgiving. And I, I may not stream on that day. So, Whew. That was close. Um, probably not. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe my brother or something will want to come stream. My brother is 23. And um, is probably much more of a gamer than I am. But he... Uh, he hasn't played a lot of these games, so it could be kind of fun to have him over. Maybe I'll talk to him, but kind of, you know, Thanksgiving is a loaded day. Lots of stuff happening. Lots of family time, so I don't know if I can pull it off or not. I'll have to talk to, talk to the family and see. Um, let me think about that, too. You know, I might not be able to stream um, the 17th. Can someone look that up on a calendar? Is the 17th a Thursday? Because uh, if it is, then I cannot stream that night. Uh, it's my, not just my wife's birthday, but um, my daughter's birthday. They have the same birthday. What am I doing? Yes, it is. Well, then I will not be streaming that day. <laughs> so maybe I'll get creative and figure out some other stuff. It's also going to depend on who's in town. Um, my aunt may be coming in town. And uh, she's someone I've, I've wanted to have come stream because she's uh, 
in her later years discovered that she likes games and um and so it, i think it'd be really cool to have her on here um and she's been very supportive she made this blanket behind me all right so i'm pretty sure it's my last life right yep okay so i'm gonna use that e-tank what am i up against this is hard man oh i hate this weapon i'll take a break here for a second Thank you guys for verifying that it was a Thursday. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Picks of Ant. Cool. <laughs> this is not going to work. <laughs> As annoying as that is, I'm just going to redo it. <sighs> that sucks, but... Um... Hard man. Man, that is a shitty weapon. Is that really what I'm supposed to use there? I'll look at, look at that again. I think so. No. I think I was supposed to use Shadow. I think I fucked that up. Maybe that's why I did not kill him easily. That's the true cheating for whoever called me out for uh, using the jet to cheat. The cheat is that I know uh, what all the weapons are to use for the bosses, which... If you kind of just go into Mega Man blind, you know, you don't know which stages to do and in which order. Um, and then you don't know which weapons would hurt which enemy, so you kind of, like, do a bunch of trial and error to figure that part out. And uh, when I had four... I beat it the way I beat it, but I remember looking later when I when someone had the correct order and it was like totally different than how I'd done it because I you know I didn't know any better. I just played it whatever was comfortable. Uh, there should be a light here. There it is, but it just never turned on. Are those? So I can I hear sounds, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, I don't know what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, I will figure out something to do streaming-wise. And then it's going to be a little tricky around Christmas, too. But also, I, I may be taking a little break in general. Um, just from making videos. So um, that may be also a time I don't stream. I don't know yet. The Woodman weapon is surprisingly hard to avoid, and most of it is because of the slowdown. <laughs> the uh, if you can't tell when all that stuff starts happening, the whole the whole game slows down, so it becomes a little tricky. Why didn't I do this last time? Yeah, I say I'm going to take a break. I also know myself. I'm such a stickler for routine that it's like, it's not that I'm necessarily proud of the fact that I've been doing a video every week. It's just kind of like, it's like, it's what keeps me motivated. If I don't do it, then I, I lose motivation. So I'm very hesitant to say I'm going to take a break from making videos because I know what that means. But also, um, yeah, I've been str struggling. Uh just life has been not hard but just hard to make this work so um, I think around Christmas is already kind of a natural time to to do something like that anyway so that may be what I do oh god 
feel like... Oh well. Please don't die here. Whew. Because I have... Okay. Right? Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, yeah. Citizens of Corona. Yes, it's very hard to dodge those leaves. I don't know why. Um, someone talking about Italy? That's cool. 4 a.m. in Italy. Damn, that's awesome. Uh, thanks for watching, dude. Um, there is a game that I want from Italy. And I'm having trouble getting, which is uh, Rodland. I found an Italian guy on eBay, but uh, who was selling it, but wouldn't ship it to the U.S. I was pretty bummed. It is uh, not the. I feel like I can still do this. Whatever. I hate to use those things. I know there's more coming, but um, it just feels like I can beat this guy and I'm not cheating, but like I, I could have beat him without using that. Just had to take another life. Oh, well. Would the top spin actually do that? Hey, look at that. Chris Ray's Creepy Carnival. Man, if there's one thing I'm not going to subscribe to, it's that channel. I'm just kidding. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, see, NES Ag knows what I'm talking about. Um, the, the anxiety. And it's not a pressure that anyone puts on you other than yourself. It feels like it's something you committed to and it's like the, the motivator. So then when you don't do it, you're letting, I mean, you're really letting yourself down. But, like, it feels like you're letting people down. But the thing I've really realized when I talk to people is how supportive they are and how understanding they are. And they are, it's always the people who really like my channel who are telling me not to get burnt out. It's, they're not like, oh, you're doing great. You know, they're like, dude, don't get burned out. Like, it's not worth it because, you know, there's plenty of other stuff to watch, obviously. And um, they'd rather see stuff get made than not ever see it. Even if it takes a while. Of course, then I see how critical people are of, uh, of James Rolfe, and it's like... Or you get to that level where people just hate on you no matter what you do. Even though you've been making fucking free videos for years. Uh, can I use the... I don't know if anyone out here is a hater on the AVGN, uh, for whatever reason you would be, but I am not. Not in any way. This channel would not exist without him. Not that I am modeling this after Cinemasker or anything, but uh, I definitely would have never would have never considered doing something like this if I had never seen that. It, honestly, although seeing it is what made me not want to do it, if that makes sense, because I, I just didn't feel like I had something to contribute in that style. I wasn't going to do, like, a silly character or something. But um, I will say one video in particular of, of his really got me back into collecting, um, which was... Um, he has a video that's just about his NES collection, and that, if if you've seen anything I've done, is... is the closest connection to my channel to his, which is like just him talking about his games and the nuances of them, what, what makes them funny and, and stand out. And it's like, that to me is like a thousand times better than any other video he's ever made. I love that video. I watch it all the time. And, it, uh, I made, I've made a couple definitely in that spirit. Um, hmm. I don't know if I'm going to, how many lives do I have here? Okay, I'm alright. <laughs> Ka! 
God damn it. I keep for, uh, I'm sorry if, if I'm offending anyone who is uh, of any kind of strong Christian faith. I, I don't mean to, to blaspheme your religion here. It's definitely my natural reaction to say that. I'm not so cavalier that I, 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 I don't respect religion or something. I don't believe in it, but I, I don't mean to disrespect it. So, Anyway. Um, yes, thank you for the kind words, dude. And for anybody else. Um, it is crazy. I kind of feel bad for um, for the angry video game nerd because I feel like it's uh, pretty obvious that he just has to keep doing it, right? It's like... Um, like... It, you know, he'll get millions of views for each one of those he makes. And, um, but it's like, he can't be, he can't be enjoying doing that that much. Ugh, I really hate that you have to start this level over because I do not want to do that again. And I really should have been, um, speaking of Cavalier, I should have been way more careful about approaching this. Because I don't want to have to do this again, and I, I think I'm going to do it again. <sighs> that was actually good. Ugh. Fuck me. Alright, well that sucks. Do I have... Yes, okay. We are going to... What guy is this? Spark. We're going to use that E-Tank. Because I don't want to have to do that again. I probably will, though. Fuck. Oh, that was so dumb. <sighs> I tried to get it. It was too late. That sucked. Um, yes. Um, good vibe connecting hits it on the on the head there. I wanted to do something. You know, I wanted to do something video game related. And um, after AVGN, and. It's like my mind was a little too cut off to think there was a different way to do it. Like, to, for some reason, the only thing that had occurred to me was that um, it you could only make it like he makes it. And uh, and I think it was because there were so many weird knockoffs of him. Um, if you go, like, deep down the internet, you'll find people who make atrocious videos, but they have, like, millions of views because... At the time, that was like a thing on YouTube, you know, was AVG and knockoffs. And um, yeah, I think I mentioned it on the last stream, but it wasn't until I saw um, SNES Drunk that I realized that you could just make a video that's just a review and that uh, it can be just as entertaining in its simplicity as something that's like a bunch of unnecessary, you know, um, verbal diarrhea kind of shit where you're just spouting off nonsense not nonsense but just like uh, constant disgusting curse words which is like again so many things about that that guy does right and so many things I, I don't like but have become kind of his uh, calling cards that I guess people like because he keeps doing it um, that I can't stand yeah like that alright I need to get another drink here Oh. Irate Gamer. Yeah, that was a funny one. Is this a playthrough of just Mega Man 3? Yeah. Um, this is... Uh, I've played 1 and 2 already. And beat them. Um, this is the only game I'm going to get to tonight. And god damn, I've already been at this uh, over, <laughs> over an hour. <sighs> uh, over an hour and a half. I'm not that far away from the end, but I'm still not. I still have to beat Wily's Castle, but I'm going to stick with it till I beat it. So I hope you guys are in it for the long haul.
It's gonna take me a minute. God, that first one is so hard to avoid. Whew. And that's all you had to do was just get past the first couple of air things, but I, did, I just didn't have enough life to get there. Is there something cool up there? No. This is kind of what I mean about it being... This game is very stingy with the, um, with the health power-ups. I think it um, instead went for more... I think it went for a harder challenge, is what I think. And, um, and the harder challenge is that it gives you a lot less power-ups. I keep hearing uh, the buzzing going off, but I can't really see if that means it was a subscriber or someone giving me money. And if it was someone giving me money, I apologize that I didn't acknowledge you because I do appreciate it. If it's a new subscriber, that's awesome too. Fuck yeah. Uh, but I would feel really bad if someone gave me money and I did not say at least a quick thank you. Because I, I absolutely do appreciate it. Uh, it's not why I'm doing this at this moment, but it, it does... It helps with the streams, man, because I just do this for fun. And um, it's nice to tell my wife at the end that, that someone donated some money. Because, again, that's not what she's into either. But I think it it's a little more, not justification, but a little more confirmation that like it's um, something that people are into, you know? Anyway. This part sucks. You have to keep refueling your rest yet. Um, yeah, I really don't want to... Uh, I didn't think about that. If I die, which I'm kind of on pace to do, I'll have to I'll have to do all that over again. Man, that is cruel. Fuck me. Yeah. I, <laughs> why did that guy just run down the ladder? Um, yeah, this is a this is going to be hard. If you guys have any tips for this, that would be helpful because I may have to do this a couple times and I don't want to do that. Ooh, I feel like I want this. Might just hang out here and let him uh, keep shooting shit. See if I can get some life. Look at that beautiful slowdown. Fuck, that was bad. Ugh, I'm gonna have to do that again, aren't I? Okay, that's fine. Wait, is this person's... Okay, is this person's name redacted? Because that's pretty good. It, it looks like someone already deleted your account. Where are we right now? Let's see. God damn, so I know one these. <sighs> it's weird to say, but I'm actually feeling the pressure a little bit, which is um, one that I think it's kind of hot here. Let me turn the AC on. But two that I'm trying to beat this quickly and uh, failing at it. It's like not especially hot, but it's like uh, just hot enough to be uncomfortable. My plan, which I quickly forgot about, was to um, turn the AC on before I got here. God. And it's almost like, oh, that's so frustrating. Um. Is there a quicker way to die? I'm gonna... Yeah, okay. Okay. Wait, where is there an E in this level?
Yeah, where is there an E tank? Um, I'm going to do the other one and come back to that in a second but I agree that is the worst stage I just gotta be a little more pragmatic about it of course this is the perfect time to open an actual alcoholic drink because <laughs> right when the game gets hard my reflexes are about to get worse cool I don't know why I thought he was gonna stay up there And like I said, I, I kind of I've kind of done my homework a little bit, but I haven't played this in forever. Forever. So you know, it, it didn't really occur to me something like that last level where you really do need to be a lot more careful about making it through the, the stage because you only have th that little bit of life. And then um Yeah, if you die you gotta start all the way over. No one wants to do that. I'm gonna rock with the uh, shadow for a second. Seems pretty effective. Yeah, that is pretty effective. Hmm. Maybe I should just be using this the whole time. Who do I fight here? It's a spark guard. Again, I should probably be a little more conservative, but... Oh well. I feel like those things never drop anything, which is a real bummer, because they're kind of easy to kill. Be a lot cooler if you did. Fuck. Yeah, these things cause a lot of slowdown, I don't know why. It doesn't seem like they should. All right. So if I die here, I'm gonna redo not the whole level, but just that section. All right, cool. Fuck yes. Yeah, I can definitely see how the um, the shadow weapon and the uh, the metal weapon are very similar. It uses a lot less um, ammo than the other ones. Maybe I'll see if I can rock it here a little bit. What do I need in this one? This is new. Okay, I don't need this. Hey, it's already paying dividends. Hey, it's the extra man machine. I feel like it's just begging me to kill myself. <laughs> 
good talking with you, Jay, man. I'm sorry to hear that news, but um, I completely understand. And uh, and props to you. I'm sure you'll still be in, involved in one way or another. But I appreciate you. I appreciate everything, man. You've been very supportive of me and, and everything I've been doing. So, uh, And I love what you've been doing. So much love to you. And whatever you... God damn it. This is what I get for trying to say nice things. Whatever you end up doing after this is... Uh, let me know. I will. I will check it out. That was a big waste of time. Just said. <laughs> God, that's covered. Maybe. All right. Just wasted both of those extra lives that I got so triumphantly. Why are you jumping? God, it's so frustrating. Whew. It really boils the blood. Like, that was... I would say I was doing it pretty perfectly, and then I got to a point where I was trying to slide, and instead I didn't slide. I jumped. And now I hit that dude. Anyway, sorry to complain. I'm not doing this again, though. I refuse. Time to buckle down. I see you can do this E tank and then die and then do it again. I'm probably not going to do that because it's a little tedious, but still. I feel like if uh, if you guys weren't watching, I would probably do something like that. Uh, I feel like Gemini Man stage, maybe. Ooh. Uh, Gemini Man stage has a uh, has maybe two E tanks, and they're pretty easy to get. I would just do that over and over again. But uh, I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. All right. I should have got the rest of it. This is Spark. Okay. I should have two E tanks now, so I, I mean, I think I got it. Yeah, one down. Not a good start. Kind of wondering if I should just die here, and I think I will. I have. If I do this in the middle of the screen, am I about to die? Holy shit, I didn't think about that. God, it's so lame. I was pausing just to look at how many lives I had. And it's. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do this again, aren't I? Fuck me. I'm gonna have to play this level again. I can just see it. That's so irritating. And so that was such a stupid thing I just did. It wasn't the game or anything. I decided to take a look at my lives at the worst possible moment to do so without really thinking about what that would mean. And am I going to have enough to get there? I'm not. Jeez. Whoever was talking earlier about refueling the jet. Yeah, that's fucking bullshit. What am I supposed to do now? 
nothing. That's so stupid. Ugh. Yeah, this, this level sucks donkey balls. All the donkey balls. Put them in a cart. How do I still have lives? That's such bullshit. That's just cruel. Cruel. I hate that I have to play this again. God, I hate that I have to play this again. Almost did it again. Mm. Well, the good thing is, um, whoever was suggesting to get a, a ton of E-Tanks in this level, I am inadvertently doing that. very definition of not NES hard but just NES frustrating where you kind of have to do it perfectly and um, it's kind of like playing a shooter or something where like once you get hit and you lose your weapons you're basically screwed that's kind of what happens here if you get below a certain amount of health it's very hard to beat this guy oof and there's a weird delay when you try and use, when you press pause sometimes. It's hard to explain, but there it was like a couple seconds. Where like, I was trying. Whew. Saying you use less, right? If I jump the whole time? Let's try it. I think you're right. It looks like you don't use any. That is a good call. I will save these in case I die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, I hate this level. I truly hate it. The only downside of this weapon is if you wait, if you miss with it, you have to wait for it to come back to shoot again. And sometimes you kind of need it sooner rather than later. All right, that wasn't too bad. OK. 
Okay, so far so good. Feeling pretty good. Fight this guy again, no big deal. This does look awesome, by the way. I feel like I've kind of, I've reached kind of a level I hate, so I've, I don't have as much to say. But uh, this, it's not that this doesn't rule, it rules. Like, look how fucking rad that looks. Whee! <laughs> Whoops! They took a little bit of pity on us there and gave us some shit. Okay. Hard man. Ugh, this is the worst one. Oh, that's why. I have one of those, like, alert box things, but it was uh, hidden underneath my... Um, my little thumbnail there that has Mega Man fighting one of the guys. So I, I couldn't tell what was actually happening there. So I kept hearing a sound that I assume was someone probably subscribing, but there should be a little animated GIF that comes out uh, when that happens. Absolutely not doing this level again. Suck 12 dicks. <sighs> you guys rule for hanging out watching this. <laughs> I don't know. It's, this is actually... I knew it was going to be hard. This is absolutely a game I struggle with. But, uh, I do appreciate it. Get a little bit of story here. I don't really understand the whole proto man, break man thing. Uh, thank you. Yeah, only 12. A mere 12 dicks. <laughs> uh, have you guys watched Dairy Girls? It's um, it's really funny, but... For some reason, the episode I watched today was about... Fat Boy Slim coming to Dairy? I'm not really sure why... They... Let him do a cameo. It doesn't really make any sense, but... Uh, at one point, the best character... Uh, Michelle is talking about Fat Boy Slim... And she said something like that, that his music uh, s sucks a bag of dicks. I thought that was pretty funny. You can pretty much say anything about a bag of dicks, and I don't think it's pretty funny. Uh, Louis C.K.'s joke about that is one of the best, if you never heard it. I will not attempt to pull it off, but um, just type in, I don't know why I'm saying to, to Google this of all things, but... Just Google uh, Louis C.K. bag of dicks and uh, and yeah, watch that video. It's pretty funny. Uh, from one of his, I can't remember which stand up. Back when he was still somewhat tolerated. R.I.P. Louis C.K. You were the best of us until you just wanted to jerk off without really telling people you were going to do it. Man, they really give you a lot of shit here. Like, um, okay. If you really want to jack me up, I guess we can... We can get jacking. Nope. 
Gotta say, Hard Man, that's a pretty lame name. Like, Top Man is obviously the worst. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But Hard Man? What kind of name is that? I assume in Japanese it was like something way more dynamic. It was like, uh, you know, the weight of the world man or something. But, um, hard man? Like, come on, dude. <laughs> That's so lazy. And his attribute is he throws a punching glove at you? Like, how is that hard? I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, it's like after being stingy the whole game, all of a sudden they give you a bunch of shit. <sighs> I gotta say, um, I keep saying it here, but I really don't like the menu. Um, it's the only real fault I would say is in this game is the menu is a little clunky. Alright, where am I? Wily, I need some shadow. Controller 2, oh, thank you. have any great way to um, power this camera. This is my uh, it's my wife's camera that she uh, just lets me use which has been awesome. But um, yeah. Unfortunately I just have to use batteries but I finally broke down and got a couple of them in a little charger right next to me so while it is annoying that it runs out it's really not it just i'm glad you guys are around just to say hey the battery died and then i can very quickly change it out so i appreciate it use all colors man hell yeah that is what it looked like right it's just a big bar of colors get a hamster on the wheel <laughs> I like it. Um, hmm. I don't know if that's necessary. <sighs> All right. Six men? Yeah, like... It, it really is so difficult up until this point. And, um... It's like they... I don't know, they took pity on you? They're like, oh, you got this far. You deserve to not have to try as hard? Like, this is... I'm not saying it's easy, but it's not anywhere near as hard as the rest of it. And it's because they keep giving you shit. This is the one trick I learned. Yeah, if something flies off screen, you can just run back to the left and they will disappear. James's one tip of the night. You are welcome. Um, yeah, look at all this shit. Like, I really think they, they took pity on you. Because, like, look at that. Is that another E-Tank? Like, why do you need that? I am as fully loaded as can be. Maybe I should save some of these in case I die or something? Like, this just seems so unnecessary. 
I've got five E-Tanks and six lives, and I've been using them whenever I have a chance. Oh yeah, this is where you fight the Yellow Devil. Hold on. Let's see how I do. I actually got really good against the Yellow Devil in the first one. It took a little bit of practice, but um, I was actually really proud of myself that I could... Oh, shit. Kind of successfully beat him without cheating. Ah, I fucked that up. But this is, I feel like, a, a much tamer version. What? Just... Oh. <laughs> God damn. That was so weird. Um, I... It didn't occur to me that that was going to happen. I feel really stupid now. Because um, I was like, yeah, he's easy and I got time to use a E-Tank or whatever. I got tons of them. It didn't occur to me that he was just going to appear right where I was and kill me instantly. Why is this jump giving me trouble? Um, why is this? This is not hard. Um, yeah, if you watched the Mega Man 1 stream, everyone chimed in when I got to that Yellow Devil part and was like, just do the trick. And the trick is, I can't remember what it is. And you guys know it, but like, I didn't know it. And even reading it, I was like, I gotta be honest, I, I really, I'm not gonna execute that. Like, it's, it's, it's too much for me to try and learn some cool trick right now, guys. But, uh, apparently there's some really easy trick to, to beat them without trying. Uh, but, I just, I just, I got good at, uh, the pattern. Well, I'm glad I saved at least a little bit of... Um, okay, that's a little annoying. Yeah. Do it. Uh, should I have saved that for? Not oh, fun. Yeah, the pause trick. Let's see if I can get my timing a little better here. I should be able to hit him twice. Damn it. Alright. Got him twice that time. I'm gonna go ahead and use the E tank. Just in case. I'm not fighting this guy again. That was actually the one time I meant to jump and I actually slid and it worked out. So I take it back for all those times I was saying I was trying to jump and I actually slid. Eat shit. You can use the uh, needle. Awesome. Yeah, even reading it now, I don't remember how to do it. Press select to reset the enemy. Um, what the hell am I doing here? Can use the RC. What am I looking for? Oh. Oh well. Another E tank. They love it.
<sighs> That's annoying. If you ever see me stop and go like that, it's because I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> I'm sure that's obvious, but uh, I don't have like a nervous tick or something. It's it's me like, oh, god damn it. I thought I jumped on that platform. I was too busy fucking around. Um, I'm just disappointed in myself that like with this that I didn't time the slide better. <laughs> I am, uh, if nothing, I'm very self-aware and I'm very... Um, apologetic sometimes to a fault maybe not enough to a fault i don't know but like when i play soccer for instance i'm very apologetic when i fuck up but something i've realized is no one else is um no one else i don't know if they just don't take it personally or whatever but like they're just not as self-conscious about it as i am where it like uh, it bothers me like I feel like I've I've let people down or something and it's like it's not that serious. It really isn't. Just like it's not that serious that like I didn't slide perfectly through that. Like who gives a fuck? Like you got I know you guys don't care, right? Right. Right. Um okay. That's frustrating. Alright. Cool. Snake man! Uh, thank you for answering that. Yes, I am using... This is actually Mega Man 3. On uh, an original Nintendo. I usually say my original Nintendo... Um, but, um, I'm actually using kind of my backup Nintendo because I realized that I was having some kind of AV issues from the other one that I didn't realize it was creating like a weird wavy line effect that I just assume was, I think I just gotten used to it. And it wasn't until I, um, kind of looked it up online that I realized that it was, that was the main cause was something with the power supply. Uh, <laughs> That's an awkward slide. Thank you. I mean, it's so, it's so funny how ungrateful I am because this game is so hard and then you get to this and look, I have six E-Tanks and five lives and I have not been playing perfectly. It's not like some of my videos, You'll if you watch them very carefully, you'll notice I have like 100 lives and it's because I'm playing them perfectly. I might be cheating a little bit, but I'm playing them perfectly. But like this, where I'm, I'm, I'm playing okay. But the Wily Castle just gives you a shitload of opportunities here. All right, what am I fighting here? This is uh, Spark. Is that right? Or am I about to... F okay. I don't know who's who. Uh, snake. Oh, this is probably the hardest one.
Fuck. All right, we're going to save that one for last. I hate the snake guy. I don't know why he's the one I have the most... Oh, the needle. God damn it. Thank you. Um, I've said this before, but... Um, I know some people like who stream don't want you to chime in. I do. I absolutely do. I do not care if you tell me exactly how to beat a game. I'm not here to earn points. <laughs> I'm here to beat this shit and, and talk to you guys. So uh, thank you. That is... I keep, I forgot that there is a weapon to beat him. I was stuck in OG mode. Ten thousand times easier. Appreciate that. Redacted is the winner. I mean, all of you guys are winners because pretty much all of you have told me something useful tonight. So, um, I'm looking. I have my list here because I just can't remember everybody. Uh, this is Spark. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Gemini, I think, is snake. Is that right? Yes. I have to say, so this kind of um, hard man is a magnet. This uh, boss gauntlet is in all the Mega Mans. I think the first one is the hardest. Oh shit, he jacked me up. I think the first one is the hardest, um, and that's because you. Um, I think a few of the bosses aren't really hurt by weapons. I can't remember which ones are. I can't remember any details. I just remember in my mind. Okay, we're gonna have to pee this dude up. Anybody know if there's any secondary attacks here that I can hit this guy with? All right, that'll work. Just don't get hit by the dive. I'll be all right. But even though I've struggled a little bit here, this is very easy. Top man. Ugh, the hard punch is the worst. Yeah, this is absolutely the lamest robot master of all time. Like, come on. <laughs> like, my two-year-old daughter would not find this intimidating. <laughs> uh, a, ro a robot top who, like, casually spins in place... This has got to be the lamest robot ever made. I'm sure there are lamer ones. You guys could probably think of some, some worse ones than this, but that's pretty fucking lame. This is... Uh... Oh, the top. <laughs> Speaking of the devil... Yeah, his weapon sucks. I don't understand that one at all. I get uh, you kind of jump on top of them, but sometimes it doesn't really work. Oh, James! God damn it! That was a big waste. Top man loves to dance. Yes, he does. Is there anything I can use against this guy to make that a little bit easier? Because I don't want to have to do that again. Spark. Like, can I use the shadow weapon against him? That'd be cool. Okay. 
you shadow. All right, let's go to shot. If it helps you in a little bit, it's worth it, but. Hey, that does work. I just said that, good call. What the hell? That was weird. No! Oh, I did not mean to do that. Whew, that was close. Who would have thought his own weapon was his weakness? It's actually more effective than the uh, the top or whatever. All right, we're getting close here. What do I need to beat him? I need the shadow weapon and the top. I actually need the stupid top. That's not helpful. That is. Need the spark. Hopefully I got enough. How does this work? There it is. Jeez. Down and B. Oh, like the slide in this section? Yeah, you're probably right. That is a pretty sweet animation of Ro uh, Robo Wily there. Okay, so for this one I need Shano, which I should have. And I need the top. Give me one second while I get all this stuff. Um, top is full, shadow. So what I need, shadow, okay. All right, I know that to beat Wily here, you use the top, so uh, snake if top spin gives you trouble. Thank you, that's exactly what I was about to ask. Um, I've, I know that you can use the top. This is awesome. Uh, I'm kind of so wrapped up in playing right now that I don't really, I'm not really taking the time to appreciate. Um, uh, <laughs> I did not think that was gonna happen. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, I, I didn't really take the time to appreciate how awesome this is. I mean, this is, this is a last boss. This fucking rules. It looks like Optimus Prime. Like, this is amazing. This is why Capcom are the best, because the level of detail here is unparalleled. There's nothing else like this. There we go. All right, let's top it out. Let's see. 
Here comes the top man. Okay, that didn't work. Please don't kill me again. Um, I'm gonna snake it. Let's screw this. How do you... That seems pretty hard. Yeah, it's a little tricky, but I did. I don't know if I've ever beaten this game, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, cool. That's awesome. I have never beaten this game. So I'm on a I'm on a roll. Oh. Yeah, I'll have to look at, at the schedule here and, and see. So it may just be depending on how the weeks line up, it may be four, five, and six are the weeks I can do uh, before the end of the month. Cause the way I have it planned out is basically um, that yeah, this is more interesting looking at my face. Um, the way I have it planned out is that the next few weeks are all Mega Man clones leading up to the last of the month will be the actual clones video. So um, it would be cool to just do Mega Man, but I'll just have to look at the schedule and see. But uh, if not, then there may be a stream in December that's Mega Man 6 or something. Housekeeping robot. I like that it makes a distinction that um, Proto Man is Mega Man's brother. Like, they're all fucking robots created by the same person. Why is he the brother? <laughs> and I get it's some kind of like speed racer thing. I don't know. I don't. It's like not really clear what he was doing the entire time there, why you kept fighting him. I don't know. And then I guess this is each person that designed the stage or the character. I don't know. Yeah, as much as I clown on the names, because Top Man and Hard Man are so stupid. I mean, just the sprite designs. They don't look like much today, but, like, they are amazing. Like, they really were way ahead of everybody else in this department. I would argue that Capcom is, or is maybe not as good as um, Konami overall, but in certain aspects, I think... Um, Capcom knew what they were doing, especially in creating large sprites and uh, and creating kind of environments, background environments. And I think Konami is maybe a little better with like effects, um, like really crazy stuff happening on the screen. Anyway, um, yeah, shout out to everybody for coming to watch this. It's really awesome. Um, and um, yeah, I've got lots of stuff coming up. Like I said. There's going to just be some weird scheduling coming up. I, I really pride myself on kind of sticking to the same thing. And so uh, I don't like to switch that up. But there are going to be a couple of conflicts coming up just in terms of holidays. And then my own kind of need to take some time off here for a second. So I don't know exactly what will be happening. But um, if uh, I will be back next Thursday. I will have a new video on Tuesday. I'll be streaming probably Mega Man 4 on Thursday. Um, if you want to support or see more videos and both, uh, I have a Patreon. It's on the screen, patreon.com slash big awards. And I basically just make other videos that aren't specifically NES reviews. They're all kinds of stuff, but, um, yeah, it's been fun and it's, it helps a lot. And then, um, yeah, the other thing I was thinking about, if, if anyone, you know, I always talk to you guys about just general help, you know, and like, obviously money is great, but like, if you guys ever want to just help but you don't want to contribute money or don't have it like that or whatever 
Um, something that's super helpful is just sharing videos. Like, especially if there's one you really like, like put it on one of those Facebook groups or on a Reddit or some other kind of forum place. Cause I think I kind of reached my limit of self promotion on those things. I, I got banned from several of them when I first started out just from posting too many videos. Like I can't post on the, the NES Reddit, which if you know me is like ridiculous. Uh, cause it's like what I love doing, but um, because I was self-promoting too much. So yeah, if you guys are really feeling it and you just want to help me and, and help get the word out, like, um, you know, there are certain videos I'm sure you're, you've watched that are better than others that are worth sharing. And if you feel that way and, and want to do it, that's a huge help. It means a lot. So anyway, other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, it's been awesome. And until next time, bye.